Hello Chris here. In this video we are going to talk about transforming objects in Blender. Transforming refers to move, rotate or scale objects in Blender. In order to move an object in Blender, you can go to this quick tool menu. If you haven't got this menu, you can press T key in the keyboard to toggle on and off this menu. Then click this move tool. This will place a gizmo at the center of the object you selected, which is a cube at the moment. You can left click and drag on these arrows to move the object along the corresponding axis. If you click and drag on these colored squares, this will move the object along the two axes excluding the corresponding color. While moving an object, you can cancel the movement anytime by pressing a right mouse button before letting off the left mouse button. If you want to move the object among the viewport plane, you can click and drag on this white circle. You can reset the position of the object by pressing Alt plus G in the keyboard. This will cancel any movement done to the cube. The shortcut for moving an object is G. If you press G in the keyboard, this will start the grabbing process or moving process. Then you can left click to confirm the position. While moving an object using the shortcut key G, you can cancel the movement anytime by pressing right mouse button. If you want to move the object among a particular axis, you can press G to move then that axis, which means x to move along x axis, y to move along y axis and z to move along z axis. If you want to move the object along two axis like the square is dead, you can press G to move then shift z to move the object not among z axis, shift x to move not among x axis and shift y to move not among y axis. You can reset the position by pressing Alt plus G. Now if you want to rotate the object, you can go to this rotate menu. Then clicking and dragging on these colored circles will rotate the object among the corresponding axis. If you click and drag on this white circle, this will rotate the object among the viewport axis. If you hover the mouse cursor on the space between the circles and click and drag on that space, this will enter the object into a free rotation process, which means all the three axes is included in the rotation process. You can cancel the rotation by pressing Alt plus R in the keyboard. This will reset the rotation of the object. Also, you can cancel the rotation of the object while moving by pressing a right mouse button before letting off the left mouse button. The shortcut for rotating an object is R. This will rotate the object among the viewport axis. If you want to rotate the object among a particular axis, you can press R to rotate, then X to rotate among X axis, Y to rotate among Y axis and Z to rotate among Z axis. Then right click to cancel the movement. If you want to enter a free rotation process, then press R key twice. This will enter the free rotation process. Then left click to confirm the rotation. You can cancel the rotation by pressing Alt plus R. This will reset the rotation of the object. Now if you want to scale the object, you can go to this menu and select the scale tool. You can scale the object among the particular axis by clicking and dragging on these squares. If you click and drag on these squares inside, this will scale the object among the two axes excluding the corresponding color. If you want to scale the object uniformly along all axes, then you can click and drag on this white circle. This will scale the object uniformly along all three axes. Then left click to confirm the position. The shortcut for scaling an object in Blender is S. If you press S, then this will scale the object uniformly along all three axes. If you want to scale the object among a particular axis, then you can press S to scale x to scale among x axis, y to scale among y axis and z to scale among z axis. If you want to scale the object among two axes like the square is dead, you can press S to scale then shift plus x to scale not among x axis and shift plus y to scale not among y axis and shift plus z to not scale among z axis. 
You can erase the scale by pressing Alt plus S in the keyboard. While transforming an object, you can press Shift to slow down the transformation, which means while scaling this object, you can press Shift to slow down the scaling process. This will give you more control over the transformation of the object. So if you move the object among X axis, you can press Shift to slow down the movement of the object. This will give you more control over the transformation of the object. If you want to move, rotate or scale the object to a particular value, you can press that value in the keyboard, which means if I want to move this cube 5 meters to that way along the Y axis, then I can press G to move, Y to move along Y axis and 5 to move 5 meters to that point, then press enter. The same goes for rotation, moving and scaling of the object, which means if I want to rotate this object 45 degree along Z axis, then I can press R to rotate, Z to rotate among Z axis and 45 to rotate 45 degree. Same goes for scale, S to scale, Z to scale among Z axis and 5 to scale 5 units among Z axis, then press enter.